What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do, as you can see on the screen, uh, a career mode. Uh, obviously last time, the last episode was uh, a throwback series. I will be continuing that, but yeah, uh, I think I'm going to do a new career and we're going to get the, we're going to get a, basically either a League 1 or Championship team. And then bring them up to the Premier League and then put them in the Champions League and Europa League up. But we're not going to play any games, we're going to sim every single game. Okay. Uh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Hmm. Gone for this kid. I like him. I was going to put it. Maybe I might have a, a series where I play the games, but the thing is, playing the games on career mode is kind of sometimes boring. So, uh, the, the problem is with League One teams is you can't buy many players. Like every time you go up a player, I'd say is they do not want to move club. You know, they don't want to move to that club because obviously. You know, it's League One and they play in the Premier League or wherever they play. So I think Championship is the place I want to find somewhere that has a transfer budget under a mil because they're probably not going to have a good team. Okay, I don't think there's any here, but I do think Wickham is the lowest. Okay. Let's go for Wickham. Uh, that on world class sterling financial takeover how much we're gonna give them do i give them 500 mil or is that too overkill or do i give them 100 mil for now no i give them 200 mil to try because that's what i either do i like give them to say with that i don't fuck off right uh all right i think i'm ready so we're just gonna. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna put a time on because the last time I've done this with my mate, we did like a score builder showdown kind of thing, but on here, so we had about 10 minutes to pick who we want, but if the other person chose it, then we can't have them. So, and literally, we were sat there for 10 minutes and we only chose like four players. I literally it took ages to think of who we could get. Because, yes, there's people like, I don't want to do that. This would be like Messi and Ronaldo and stuff, but we don't want them because they're going to retire in two years or something, whatever. Right. I have to keep this main man up there, like. 97 strengths. You know what that's going to be. Sorry if there's a red light here, it's, it's off my mic. It, yeah, there. It's, it's off my mic. Fuck hell. It's off my microphone, so. Yeah. Oh. Um. So, yeah, I can find that. Hogan. Uh, okay. Do okay. Does any of these have good potentials? I don't think so because I've played with these before and I don't think any of these have had good potentials. I think there's one on the bench. Oh, I bet you anyone. I think he's 22, but I bet you anyone he's like 30. Maybe these has good potential because like normally when they don't have faces, like they're young. And they just don't know them, so they might have good potentials. Okay. 200 mil. First off, let's go on to these. Because we might be like, I think with free agents, I'll have some good. He's 26, 26, 28. So, let's stay away from them. Actually, let's just lower this actually, because it might take the red thing off. Okay. Notifications. Normally, if you don't read these notifications and stuff, like sometimes you get a bad manager record. So, yeah. Uh, he has a 94. But he's. He oh shit, no. He's also only 55 rating. Which is gonna take him quite a long time to get up. Where is he? 
So, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, then uh, we'll put him up into his 56 rate, and anyone you can. Okay, I'll just replace him. And then, cache. Oh, we are pretty quick, you know. How much? How, I don't know why I'm. I, I don't know why I'm not going to put on the bench because they're probably not going to play. So first off, let's change the formation, I guess. Okay, I think I'm going to go for this one. And then have two strikers, probably going to have like, two really young strikers up top, because I was about to say I like my own boys, but that's no. No. Uh, so what I like to do here. Attacking, and then we'll go Premier League, and then let's go, there we go, 16 to 20, so Rean Brewster, he's 20, he could have a good, good potential I guess, Sam Greenwood, is that Mason Greenwood for, he kind of looks like him, but kind of doesn't, so I don't think it is, Fabio Silva, I've had him and he takes a long time to, Upgrade. Even now, I was, I was QPR. I don't know if I'm gonna do another series on QPR. Well, I haven't done a series yet, but it was quite fun to play with them. And I put Fabio Silva up top, and uh, we won. We came fourth in the Premier League and won the Championship, and came third in the Champions League, and then won the Europa League the next season. And then, like, he just he, he got upgraded by four, whilst everyone else that. Only Watkins, who was on the bench, got upgraded by like nine. And he wasn't even starting. It's kind of frustrating, but okay. So we're gonna have to go for like semi. Like let's do that. What is that? Okay, Chowdhury, but I don't know. Hold on, I'll have a look if there's anyone on a release clause because. I'm sorry if it's taking a long time, I don't know how long this episode's gonna be. But I'll not try it. I'll try not Oh fucking hell. 77 million? No. I'm not paying 77 million for him. Gabriel Zeus, he's all he, I'll probably end up paying about 60 million for him if I went from because that's how much he'll end up wanting. Same for him, I'll end up paying like 60, 70 million. I don't, I don't think he's worth it. Like, yeah, he will be, but right now it'll take half my money early, pretty much. Half my money. So really, uh, I don't think that's gonna be worth it. So uh, hmm. I don't know who to go for. I'm not gonna lie to you. So, winner? Oh, fuck. Yeah. Se se 70 million. So, I'm, I'm good again. They won't want 67 million. They'll end up asking for like fucking 90 million. Uh, only walking like I don't think it when it doesn't say like what price they are, like how it says weren't their value. If he said like 20 million, I'll know what to offer like 30 million. But it's a fucking fact, right? When I go to buy them, I'll offer like 30 million for them. It's like, I think this is a waste of time. And I'm like, make me a fucking offer then. You know? Right, Sorry about that. Maybe you can cut that bit out. And the bit when I was on my phone. But. 
Mitrovic, I don't know. I don't know who to go for, yeah? We might have to cut off this out because I'm fucking taking two of them to say. Oh, Kovacic is good. How old is he, actually? Van der Beek. <laughs> Why are you so expensive? Ruben Nevers, no. And the ballet, you're young, aren't you? Yeah. Wait, Ruben Nevers is only 23. Navi Kata. Okay. Jensen Fernandes is gonna be one of my players. You know what? Oh, fuck off. I'm just gonna go Premier League and midfield. Let's see if I can get my midfielder. 29 for Alan. I could upgrade him quite a bit actually, so. 24? That's at least 24. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, I know he's quite good in, in, what's it called? He's quite good in Kramer, because he can upgrade him quite quickly. Steven Bergwijn. Oh, I bet anyway, I'm not gonna be able to get him. And then, oh, I could go for Hell of the Costa. I could, yeah. I could go for the point, but I'll be all the money gone. Okay. I think Fabinho, no, I've already got him. Bruno Fernandes, no, because he's going to be over 100 mil. Uh, Fred could be a show, actually. He's 27. Fraser. Not that bad. Right mid. Greenwood, 46 million release clause. Dan James. How much are you gonna be lost of it? Okay, let's now start to go for strike us because who was it that I had? It literally was got Oh my god, I know who it was. This man right here. This man scores fucking loads. Like, I'm gonna start buying these now actually because I know I'm probably not gonna end up getting some of them. But I don't know how, how much to offer for them. I probably should have delegated. I, yeah, I probably should have delegated, but. Oh! Seriously. Oh, it's because he wants to sell on clothes. So I'll just accept it. Sure. I'll just accept it. Right, then we're gonna, this guy is on loan at another club, you can approach him as soon as he returns to his parent club. Shit. Oh wait, how much was he valued at? Oh no. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna, I'll offer 40 million and see what he says. Yeah. 55 million for Daliani. I'll do 45 million. Forty five million. How about I'll do forty five million again, yeah. What, uh, I'm pretty sure it was like FIFA 17 or FIFA 18 career mode. Uh, there was a glitch where you could have the salon clothes or something like that. I forgot how you did it or something, but it was a glitch where you could add to the salon clothes and it was like 100%. And then you can buy the player for like 100,000 instead of like 10 million. And obviously that would, that would just mean that you would make no money on them because all the money would go to the. Okay, yeah, I knew I wasn't gonna get him. Uh, that would just mean all the money that you make on 
would go to the club that I used to go to play for, so you won't get anything from. I don't know how much I'm off of that. Am I social? That's not social. Oh, I've just paid 25 million from. And that's definitely over how much he's worth in it. His current rate is 85. Crucial, 100% because. A one year contract. No, mate, do ya? Right, that's the thing with when you have championship teams. Yeah, like, half it when you're, when you're like, you're simming the whole season. That's fine. When you're simming the whole season, you have to like stop halfway through the season and then go back to renew everyone's contracts because when it gets to like a five month into a contract and you can't renew it because it just it gets too close to the end of it so and then again you you always try if if they want one year you always offer two years because two year one year is if you play a whole season with them on a one year contract you're not going to renew them at the end of the season because it'll be too late but if a two year contract you have, you'll have time to then go back after the end of the season and renew the contract for like 3 or 4 years and that's fine but I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be eating in the world yep they already can be a crucial part of the team Look, I'm already under 100 mil my belt. I've bought three players. Maybe. Let's see if I can get my two year contract. Yes, okay. So all my players are going to be on a two year contract. Oh, I don't like giving the wage. Uh, David can be on. In the ground. And then these two are I can't yeah, I can't get them. Okay, so Okay, I'm gonna no Calvert Lewin's on seventy seven million anyway. I've been recording for now twenty minutes already, what the fuck? Three players are in 20 minutes. No, I don't want to quit. Alright, let's put these players in. David, I can't believe I've just spent like 50 mil on Ali. Maybe he was not the greatest purchase. But after one season, I will be reselling Ali because in, within one season, Ali will be like close to 100 mil because you'll probably go up to an 85 bracket. So I'll resell him because. Now I can upgrade the team elsewhere because by the looks of it. Wait, we need. Oh shit, we need a defense. We, we cannot. How much is. Eric Bay? Has he not got a. Okay. He's gonna be a lot, isn't he, though? Uh, who can I buy? Who can I buy? Who the hell did I buy? Wait, hold on, I'm gonna... I don't know how much to offer. Oh, that's sound. I just need to play after this scene. He will be a crucial part of the season. I swear to God, if he wants. The thing is. That's fine. No. I'll try and make it full, yeah. Come on, come on. If I was fine with that. You know what? That sound. Right. But the thing is. It's because you gotta think of also players that don't get played for their club as well. And I'm probably not gonna get him for 20 mil, so. I'm just going to say about it. 
I should have offered like 10 because if I say 20 and he says yes to it but then if I said 10 and he said and then he wouldn't have just said I think that's a waste of time he would have then compromised and said like 15 or something Come on, come on, come on. Buy is fine, yes, yes, buy. My god. Oh, I got to do the witch. So I don't want to do it. I guess we could give him not 30 grand a week. This guy mad. So am I, because I've just accepted it. Right. We do need a left mid though. What we got so far, yeah? What have we got so far? We got a new left back in Jamal Lewis and a new centre back in Harry Bay. Okay. <laughs> Now, okay, right. I've been trying to think of who to go for. I cannot think of fucking anybody. Wait, hold on. Let me just go twenty. Let's just find some young strikers. Ah, now you see, I don't want any of these. Oh no, I I know who to go for. No, I don't, because I remember I paid 40 million. I was going to go for like young 80, 16 year old, or whatever, 18 year old, coming ringer or something, the French kid. But yeah, I forgot that I, how much I paid for him, so. I'm trying to think of people I can just pay 10 mil for and then bam. Well, I need defenders, so. Sorry for the yawn in there. I literally just woke up uh, about an hour ago, which was about 3 o'clock. Uh, Okay, right. Oh, what the hell? Is it my eye? Okay. I mean... I've been on this for like 10 minutes trying to find a bloody striker. Or oh, well, other players. I've only bought, bought like 5 players. This is why timers aren't good. I mean, timers can be good because it pressures you. That might have to be blurred, blurred up because I don't think he might want his... You know what? He's a fellow YouTuber. He can have his thing out. Oh! I need... I, I just need a centre back. The thing is, yeah, when, it, when it comes to release clauses, you could be a League 2 team as long as you've got the money to pay for... to pay for the player. It's fine. So if I have 40 million and this kid had a uh, release clause of 15 million, I could be a League 2 team. He might not want to join a League 2 team. Like, if he didn't have a release clause and I was going in to buy and negotiate from, I probably wouldn't be able to because he wouldn't want to move to a League 2 team. But if I paid the release clause, they would have to like, send them over here because I paid what they're wanting, you know? So no matter who you are, so if you find, if you like want the player I want, and if he's on a release clause, I would get him straight away, you know. Because he's probably going to get upgraded because normally release clause players are sometimes young. Not all the time, but, you know. And yeah. But he has a good card and good stats and stuff. So yeah, I'm hoping he's going to be a good player for the team. Uh, should we get a right back? Because I think he should be okay. Like, if it's a right back or a left back. It should be okay, but if it's like a centre back and you can just run through, I need a new keeper. I need a new keeper, striker, and left mid, which I don't know if I can do within thirty-eight million. But we'll see, we'll see. Let's just do that, and then find any. Some of them have release clauses, but. I 
because sometimes there's no point in release call of 350,000. I could just go from here, upgrade them loads, and then resell them in two seasons' time. That's the thing, you can literally guarantee to make money sometimes on career mode. Like, you could buy this person here for 320k, play him for three or, three or four seasons, or maybe two seasons. If he goes up by two or three stats, probably with him being low rated, he's probably going to go up by 10 or 15. If he's like 46 rated, he can go up to like 60 rated really quickly within like two or three seasons. You can resell him for probably about 10 mil, maybe. Probably, maybe a bit less than that, but it's money. You'll definitely be getting all your money back, Tyler. So that's all I might as well do it. Buy a lot of players. Oh, but I'm sorry. Buy a lot of players on release calls. And then, like, who are like under a mil. And then, we sell them. In two seasons. How much is he? 92 million. He has to be the most expensive keeper in the game. You know, I probably might just. Or oh, Mendy. Can I get him? Or oh, Kepa. Who is he? Oh no, not him. Okay, Mendy. You guys probably know which one they want about. Which I don't know what his first name is. I guess it'll say goalkeeper. There we go, there he is. So as a pro buy him, I'm hoping to get about 10 mil of them. Offer transfer fee. It's offer 10 mil. We'll offer 10 mil. Yes, I am not getting him. Who do I go for? And if you want to comment in the comments below uh, who you think I should have went for in each position. Yeah, this is fucking getting on my fucking tits right now. Oh, Adrian, he's fucking 33, he's too old. Ariola, he's gonna be like 30 mil. Any point in that? I do have in mind who I'm gonna go for within the next two seasons because with Dariani and within two seasons, hopefully him being upgraded, uh, I'm gonna try and probably go for Donnarumma. Because if I get Donnarumma on the team, that is, I'm gonna say that is dubs. Because Donnarumma is like fucking beast and he gets upgraded over 90, literally within a season. He was valued at 20, 19 million, so I'm gonna. 22 million for him. 27 million. Can we do 24 million? Because you know I'm not negotiating tight. You know, we'll go 24 million, right? And then add uh, about 4% of the salon clause, you know. That's the reason why, I guess, of course. I know what it means. Right, the crucial goals is 80k a week with his. No, fuck off. I am not paying him 80k a week if that's it. No, do it, no. No, stay in for yeah, you stay in for two. Because I'm gonna read. Read your contract. Accept, come on. Please give me the wager you want. Ah, oh, I can't do it myself. I will give you 80 grand a week. I don't know if it's gonna be worth it. That's the reason why. Maybe 250k sign in bonus was a bit too much. Oh, what was his rate? I didn't see his rate. Aslop. Get out of there. Boom. Highest rated player on the team so far. Oh, we haven't got a right back. We have 10 mil to get centre mid, left mid, right striker, and right back. I mean, I guess, no, 40 pace on him, maybe. Who can we get? 
Oh, sorry. Yeah, doing that. There's some people here. Kaden Jackson, Joshua King. What could I get him for ten million? Probably. I need to get him for less than that. Like, he's actually quite quick, Shane Long. How much can I get him for? Should I go for him? He has a potential of having like ninety on pace, like. Okay, let's approach by him. I'm off our leg. I'm off our like two mil from. Okay, right. Should we off our. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus. I just nearly off our 30 mil from. Okay. Uh, 3 mil. Is this enough? Oh, it's probably way too much, isn't it? I should have offered like one mil. Crucial. I don't know if yeah, I don't know if he's gonna be sporadic. I'm gonna play him every game anyway, so it's not enough. Four year contract. How many push it to five? Yes, okay, right, he's pushing it to five. Uh I don't know what give him for his wage, ten gear a week I guess, and then Hundred thousand. Okay, I'm gonna need that that money in the transfer budget for stuff like uh, renewing people's contracts. So I'm gonna have to just not buy any more players. I think this is gonna be okay. All right, ready to sim season, boys. Uh, I mean. If anything big happens, like game changing, I'll show you. But I, okay, I'll skip ahead in the video. I'll sk like I'll cut this bit out, and you'll see me when I'm come back at the end of the season. Peace. Hey, you guys old. Okay, okay. Right, boys, we're back. Um, we're back, and I haven't seen who's won the league yet. But this is what I'm looking at. I'm looking at my squad so far. Just to see, like, who's been upgraded. David was 77, I think he was. Pardon me. Well, let's take up the book. He was 77 overall. Now he's only 81. I don't think I've done this good, but as you see, my manager rate was 93, and that was probably one of the highest I've had recently. Rupert Patricio is still 84. Two centre backs and left backs have been upgraded, I think. Has he been upgraded? I think he's been upgraded from 66, I believe. Yeah, he has, because he, he had like 50 shooting. Yeah. Wait, what? I have this right back. Oh, I could put him in. Bonk. Okay, right. So, he's not very happy, but everyone else is very happy. And... Jeez, a rain on type. Anyway, so it doesn't look like many people have been upgraded loads, like the QPR. One that I did use won't know that, but my goalkeeper and centre back were upgraded by 6 or 7 within the first season. So they were over 90 nearly. Okay. Boom! Jeez. Wickham win the league with a hundred. I won by 15 points over second place. 101 points. We won 31, drew 8, and lost 7. We won 6 more than second place. And we have a 93 overall manager in. Uh, we're in two season time, two crucial players, I think. Wait, what? It says within. Oh, okay, so at the end of the season, that'll complete, so I'll get probably even more manager again. Okay, let's see who the top goal scorers were, I guess. Uh, oh no, I've got a. 
please say David. Deli Ali. Deli Ali. Maybe that's why he was upgraded by David. Then David. Anymore. In the FA Cup. Uh, we didn't get any of that. Oh my God. No, we didn't. Carabao Cup. Again, no. Uh, yeah, let's play this. Okay. Okay. Talk of course, assists. David, okay. David and Ali will be the most assists. Gross. Clean sheets. 18 clean sheets for Patricio. Wow, what a beast. Red card. Charles. Got a red card. Okay. We did very good this season. We got a two people up on the top five of assists. We got one person up there with goals, which was Ali, which I'm surprised with. So now we just gotta. I got a manager order though. Now we just gotta sim to the end of the month and then hopefully. Well, see how much money we get, which won't be that much because of the championship. Who went the Carabao Cup? Oh, in Milan won the Champions League. Okay. Okay, here we go. And this will be the end of the season for us. And boom, end season. Okay, manager of the month award announced. The Bournemouth manager, which is this month. Semi grabs May player of the month. Okay, so we're gonna end the season, see how much money we get, and I think this is gonna be the end of episode one. I don't know how long this episode is gonna be, I'm hoping maybe about half an hour. Half an hour for each episode of me. Obviously, each episode I'll be playing for about an hour, but it's cut down into like half an hour. Until, like, obviously, my mate's doing it first until I learn how to do it myself. Because I have not a clue how to do it. Okay. Now we're going to the Premier League, which will be in the next episode. We're 91 overall, and we have 83 million transfer budget. Now I just need to go see people's contract to make sure no one. Okay, see, look, when I when it runs out of time, I can't renew his contract. Uh, Jakobsen. Like I do want to renew some of these because sometimes when you don't, like if they all run out of contracts and I just don't renew them, I'm just gonna have no players in my club. I'm just gonna have just my starting eleven, and that'll be it. Delhi Ali. Okay, so the him I can't renew because he must be going somewhere else. That's like someone obviously bought him for them, them to have him at the end of the season. So as soon as this season ends with me, then he goes up with them. So, oh, Dan James. Wait, you only have a two year contract? Mad. So Mayo is on a four year contract. Parker. No, I don't know who you are, but I've lost you. I'll just renew a few of them, so I've got at least some players left in my club. Uh, four years? Mad. Okay, that'll be enough. And actually, now I want to see how much Delhi Ani is worth. What? Wait, Eric Pye's worth 33 million. That's nice, okay. Gamalo is worth 27 million. I paid 15 million for him. Uh, who else, who else, who else? Danny Ali worth 50 million. I mean, I paid 50, I think it was 45 I paid for him, but. 51 million. Tangent is 51 million. And David is 57 million, which I can probably sell him on for like 70 million. So, wow, this is a very successful episode. Uh, yeah, I don't want to, I'm not going to spend 
any more money now, I'm just gonna leave it till the next episode, you know. And uh, this is how it'll come back to the next episode. There's obviously, as you can see here, there's a few options that can go for for strikers, and we'll find that next episode. We'll, we'll go through who we can go for, and we'll pick out somebody who's gonna be the new striker. Like, I think we're gonna go for because, yes, we won. I just want to quickly talk before I go. Fuck sake, it's very light and annoying. I'm gonna fix that, put some back tape over it something next time. But, what are we doing? Wait, I think next episode we're gonna go for maybe this left side sort out, but mainly striker because we're going into Premier League and we can't have David as the top goal, like the goal scorer. We need two people up top to connect with the goal scorers. So I think next episode, because obviously, look, we found out we've got this kid. He was okay, he's okay, decent physical, decent pace. Probably can get upgraded quite a bit. So, and I think he's doing quite well as well. So, we're gonna get a new striker. He was obviously only there for now. Get a new striker in there, and yeah, that'll be decided next episode who's gonna go in there. I've got a few in mind, but I'm just gonna have to make sure. I'm just gonna quickly make sure this uh, saves. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, we do have, I think, yeah, Man United is our first. Man United is our first game of the season. We're gonna see how that goes, but anyway. Uh, yeah. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment in below, uh, down below who else you would have went for in your team. Uh, and also comment who you think I should go for for the centre mid role and left mid. So yeah, uh, hopefully next episode will be out tomorrow uh, or maybe later tonight, I don't know. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, so yeah, peace.